The mobility sector is changing a lot lately. There are heavy trends, electrification, connectivity, autonomous driving. For example, in the future, we expect that passenger cars and or passengers and drivers will no longer be different from each other. An in-cabin experience will in the future include many, many technology and functions such as ambient light. We uh, have a technology where you can shade off to the outside and also have a sun protection. The real sun protection we're doing with our recordings that we help make that in-cabin experience comfortable and you will also reduce the need for energy in order to cool down the environment. That will help do this in the future better and then make mobility feel like home. We call it smart class. What we have done is to put the innovation roadmap in the center of the strategy and the center of the company. So we help our customer through exterior glazing to build better electric vehicles and to create better in-cabin experiences. AGP has uh, built important teams in the organization. The R&D team is not different uh, from the other and actually has been built uh, with real innovative people into the team. People coming with experience, people coming with an innovation skill that it is probably not common in the market. So they are really able to innovate from the ground, trying to deliver the best possible product without following much of what it has been done in the past. We are not only developing products, we are only developing processes. And we are so innovative that it is not possible to go out on the market and buy any equipment to produce these products. And therefore, the solution we have adopted is to not only build the products, but also build the machines that are going to build the products. We only buy standard equipment, but for the rest, where we add value on the product itself, we are designing and building our equipment. And at the fore, we are able to build in house lamination lines, we are able to build in house bending uh, equipment so that we maximize uh, the capability, the size, the productivity of these machines. I think it's key for us to develop new product acumen so that we can help support the driving experience become more interactive, safe and um, support the needs for communication and connectivity. We like to do that as innovators because we have people and we have set the values of a company in a manner where you dream big, you're customer obsessed, we foster the change. We like to have people on board that actually work themselves in a very proactive manner. And we pound and build on them in order to foster that change and innovation. On R&D tech centers, we are working together with key customers on their vehicles they will launch in 2027 and on how we can, through exterior glazing, enhance the in-cabin experience. This is a very close collaboration and we are not stopping only on the product development side. We are working on the engineering of our e-glass machine and that's how we can make these new products with a very high level of automation, very high quality standards, so we can bring to the market affordable innovation because we want this to be on all vehicles and, and not only on the high-end segment. So in the future, you will see cars that will have no steering wheel will be this type of pods, all with a glass covering the whole exterior surface with almost no metal. And this glass will be able to follow your hand, dimming as, as you will. You will be able through touch to create lighting conditions you will have photovoltaic cells, so you will have through the glass the ability to see data that you see on your phone. And we are working on those kind of innovations for the future of mobility.
The future is amazing and the opportunity is significant. But if we're able to do this right, there are opportunities in other segments like on aerospace, human drones, for example, that are coming. And these will require large and complex transparent uh, smart glazing. With Vimbigo now, we, let's say, we make sure that the future products will look like a lot is coming to the integration. So the integration between the various technologies and uh, meeting the complex shapes. And because complex shapes is the key. And the complex shape is going to be, let's say, the future of the glazing. A few years ago, a vehicle was sent to space from a car maker. And this had our glass. So we are already up there going towards Mars.